This is Eugene Panritkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Samsung NP300E4C laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Samsung NP300E4C laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or most other laptop computers, we want to disconnect all sources of power, and that includes removing the battery. So in order to remove the battery, we flip the laptop over. On top of the battery, there's two levers. We slide both those levers outward, and we slide the battery out, like so. And while we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number for this laptop. There's a label right above the Windows sticker and the third or the second line says model NP 300 E4C NP 300 E4C also the shorthand notation for this num model is the 300 E so 300 E model okay we flip the laptop back over and in order to get to the screen assembly, we need to remove the screen bezel. The screen bezel is the plastic frame around the screen. This is the screen bezel. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we have to remove two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom, and they're hiding behind some rubber uh, screw covers. So before we get started, we want to show you the tools that we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one's the size. We have a smaller PH00 screwdriver and a two millimeter flathead screwdriver and that's mainly to pry things open. A pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck or to manipulate cables and a hobby knife or an exacto knife and that's to remove the plastic screw covers and also any adhesive tape so let's get started the first thing we're going to do is remove the screw covers and we use our exacto knife for that we lift those out and on top we see that there's no screw hiding behind the screw covers so we put that in that's good news. We don't have to remove as many screws. And we look at the bottom, see if there's a screw. There's a screw behind this screw cover. So we also remove the second one, like so. And what I like to do with the screw covers is put them right next to the screw opening so I don't lose them. You can keep track of them. And then we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the two screws. And we remove it and put it to the side. And for each step, for each set of screws, what I like to do is keep them in a separate pile in the order in which I remove them. And that helps me keep track of which screws go where when I'm putting the laptop back together again. Once we remove the screws, what we need to do is snap the screen bezel off. What I like to do is put my fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lift up the bezel and listen for snapping sounds and in that way work my way around the screen like so so we keep going around the screen and if you get stuck in any place just leave that place alone and come back to that place later on when you have other parts of it opened up and this is probably the hardest part of the procedure so take your time on this it'll finally happen so just keep going around the screen like so and come back to the corner and then we just have one corner left and the screen bezels off so what we're going to do now is put the screen bezel to the side and look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, it's mounted by some screws to some metal mounting brackets on the sides, and we have to 
access these screws. In order to access these screws, we have to tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly. So in order to do that, the first thing we're going to do is remove two screws at the top that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the bracket of the screen assembly. There's one, and there's two. And once again, we start a separate pile. Once we do that, we want to tilt the screen assembly forward and see if we can reach all the screws. We can almost we can reach the two top screws that are holding the screen, but not the bottom one. So for this, I have another trick. What we're going to do is loosen up the two screws on each side that are holding the hinge assembly to the back of the screen assembly. Just loosen them up maybe one or two turns so that it's enough to tilt the screen forward so that we can reach this last screw, and I think we can now. So I'm going to remove the three screws on each side, starting with the bottom one. If you have a problem with the bottom one, loosen these screws up some more, and possibly use the PH00 screwdriver because it can reach in easier, but we're doing good so far. So that's two screws, and three. And when you're doing this, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit. And that'll keep the screen from falling forward on you when you remove all the screws. So, one, two, and three. Okay, once you remove all the screws, we gently tilt the screen forward, like so, and put the screen down. Okay, for this type of screen, there's only one connector that we have to disconnect, and the screen is free after that. So in order to disconnect the connector, we have to lift up the adhesive tape that's covering the connector. And what you can do for that is use the X-Acto knife to lift up a corner of it, and then carefully peel it away, like so. This one's pretty tough, so take your time on it. Make sure you don't go too fast and not damage anything. So go slowly until you reach the connector. And usually the back of the video cable has some adhesive too, so we gently lift that up. Once we remove all the adhesive, we pull the connector backward and it comes out. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector because I see it as a source of trouble when people do it at home. You slide it back in, and you'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close-up. Okay. Pause the video right there. This, this is what a properly connected connector should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, we keep going. We pull this connector out once more, and we take a look at this screen. This is a 14.0 LED screen. It's a fairly standard screen. And let's look at the part number. The part number that you're looking for is LTN140AT26. That's what all you need. LTN140AT26. And when you do get your screen in, most likely it will have a different part number, but the connector and the size should be exactly the same. Um, now, we at Screen Surgeons also sell this screen. We have this screen available, and what you get with us is free email technical support. If you get stuck anywhere along the procedure, send us email, and we'll help you through. You also get this toolkit, the exact same toolkit that I used in this video, it comes for free with the screen, so you don't have to buy any extra tools. This is all you need. 
We have a two-year warranty on all our screens. And finally, we ship both from the East Coast and from the West Coast. And that means if you're in the continental United States and specify ground shipping, you'll get your screen most likely in three days or less. And if you're outside of the United States, we ship to most countries around the world. So just follow the regular checkout procedure. To buy this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, and that, that will guide you to the right screen to buy online, and just go through the checkout procedure. Once you do get the screen in, connected as I showed you, mount the screen in the metal mounting brackets, put the three screws in on each side, once you do that, make sure to remember to tighten these two bottom screws so your hinges don't get broken. And then put the two screws in at the top. Snap the screen bezel back on. Put the two screws in at the bottom and the screw covers. And that should be it. And you should be good to go. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Once again, my name is Eugene Pandrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.